Welcome back to Liberty Marksman. I'm Ken, he's Scott. Let's magpull this thing. Let's go. See, we have the whole magpull accoutrement. So let's uh, start with putting on the front handguard. Take it away, Scott. Let's do it. Start with basic field strip. We're going to rock off our cover. Take out our spring. Back our carrier. And that leaves us to our foregrip, upper foregrip. Pops right off. Another lever. This one could be pretty stiff. Get that to pry up a little bit. Still stiff. That's what she said. There we go. Yeah. Slides forward. Damn Viagra. <laughs> With a rubber mallet, because I have this fancy handle on here, I get to tap that right off. Say bye bye. Give this the old 180. You made that look easy, and that's because it's already been off, but <laughs> it's not too bad. Sometimes when they're burned in a little bit, you gotta work it. Unboxing. Here we go. I see your fingerprints on that. upper. Already. Some instructions. I don't get. I don't know. I don't need that. <clears throat> so we got this because we're actually going to maintain our front sling mount. So they've left a little cutout for it. Yeah, you can get it the other way where that's filled in. Now this may require a little tapping. Tappage. Slide that all the way forward. You'll know if you don't have it all the way back in, you'll never be able to move that tank you'll back You'll never down get the lever. It. They also have a really nice heat shield in here to keep that all away from that uh, plastic. Unlike the Wood. Yeah, all the wood does is this color. Okay, and then the front is just like... Just like taking it off, but in reverse. Give that a rotation. Just like that. Square it up. Yeah. The Cerakote and Magpul Flat Dark Earth matches pretty well. Make sure your lever is up. Slap it in, lock it down, and there's your foregrip. The foregrip is a lot like their shotgun foregrip, actually. Yep. But it's got M-lock, so if you want to put a front grip on or a flashlight or whatever, it's uh, M-lock compatible. So. And it will still allow you to have your cleaning rod installed. If you run one. If you want to run with it. Okay, next, we're going to do the grip. So we'll have more gratuitous... Dude, get a grip. ...unboxing. Huh. I don't see any instructions for that one screw we need. Do you turn it right or left? Right that one. Righty, lefty, loosey. Okay, and the bottom of the grip is a flat blade screwdriver. In the actual receiver, there is a tab that's been machined to sit at an angle with the, th with the threads that you're going to be uh, unscrewing the You'll see that closer screw from. Once we actually have the grip off. We're waiting. Getting there. We're waiting. Getting there. Dope. Dirty old grip. I'll drop that out of there so you can see it. And that's what it looks like. It's been milled on that angle so that when it sits flat, it doesn't kick back. So you're 
screws on that angle. You gotta actually take and drop that in the receiver. And we'll see. And make sure it doesn't flip around the wrong way. You just drop this in the square like that. And there you go. Hold that with your finger. Finger it. No. Once you get your screw down in the handle. Seven. You're going to start with the screw coming out. You put your finger on that block. Line up the screw. And start screwing. Well, once you're good and tight, you can drop your storage compartment cap back on. And there you go. Pretty nice match. Mm -hmm. Well that stock has got to go. Stock is out of here. And that happens to be our next unboxing. Oh no! An unboxing? I think I wet my pants. I'm so excited. Oh wow. Bag and instructions. I don't like those. That out. Typical mechanic. Pretty cool. Now, this does have a storage compartment which you have to open. That's achieved by pushing this little tab in the way of the arrow. And it slides right off. Cool thing about the compartment is uh, you can put whatever you want in there. But it's actually designed to put the cleaning kit that's in the stock from the factory. Yeah. Or whatever. Whatever. And here's your bag of parts, and we're going to show you what order they go in because that is important. Okay. Got a long Allen screw and a big, thick flat washer. That starts like that, and we'll go down through the hole in the back of the stock. Now it is at quite a bit of an angle once it's down in there, but luckily they give you an Allen wrench, and it's a ball style Allen wrench to work on that angle. You'll see. <clears throat> Let's get this V block. This is this is actually going to be your really taper, v, but it's a taper block. And this is going to help lock it into the receiver. Now to get that started, you can see that they've actually molded in. Section for the nut. Section for the nut. So we can hold this while holding the screw with your other hand. Flip it back over. Take your ball end and just get a couple turns in it to get it started. Bring it all the way down until it just starts to touch. No. Well, you want to leave it loose so that you don't get any taper to start. You can see the offset already. I'm too far in because that'll be too tight going in. You just back that off. You want to keep it even. It's first. Just like that. It'll be perfect. Before we get into what these other the pieces are that, that, that goes into putting the stock on, obviously, let's show you how to get the other stock off. On your stock, you'll notice that you have these two screws. Basically, you want to remove the two screws. And then I'm going to show you a good place to start to get your stock off in case it's really tight. I've seen a lot of people try to wedge screwdrivers or nylon here, but it's really ridiculous because you've got this opening right here that if you pry just a little bit right there, comes right off and you never scratch your sides of the, your stock. Yeah, and it'll usually take a little more effort than that, but it's been silicone. So I cheated. You cheated. Yep. Yeah, can you believe you put that old ugly hardware on a nicely silicone? Ah, I jumped ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, to the nuts. That's why I said nuts. According to the directions, they tell you that these 
little washers, they look like washers or tabs with the threads in them. You can put one in from this side, but eh, they're wrong. It doesn't go in from this side. So you actually have to install the first one this way. And don't worry about the it because you can tip the protruding part goes down so that you can actually see the threads here and you notice it doesn't fall out into the stock which means it can't come in from the stock and then the other portion the other one goes in here just like that and those are basically going to be replacing the two screws that we took out of the factory stock yeah the, the factory screws are like a wood screw basically these are actually pinching it. There's no real screwing into the plastic that happens here. So with our Allen forward, I might have to back that up just a little bit more. Yep. Pulls right in. Now we have a pan head that's going to go in the back portion. And we want to get that started with the same Allen. Ooh, it won't start because my little tabby moved. Tabby? Yeah, tabby. So we can just tip it until it shows up. Find our pick, line it up. Drop in the Allen. Tighten that one up. Now the other one actually has a bronze insert to create that pan head for the longer distance because we need that shoulder. Also keeps it from marring. And we tighten that one down. And we tighten that one up. We're just making these snug so that we hold it in place. to tighten up our taper block that's in the back. Okay, once you complete completely tighten up all three of them, you get the taper nice and snug, then you go back and Snug these up a little bit more. And I would suggest checking all of that after you've gone out and fired it a few times just to make sure that it doesn't uh, loosen up on you. And then basically we're gonna reinstall that. And they do they do make different um, cheek risers, so if you're running an optic, it can bring you more in line. And we just reassemble the rifle the way it came apart. And there you have it. Man, don't drop this thing in the sand, but it looks gorgeous. I'm always smacking a counter. I don't know why, but this thing looks awesome. I think it turned out really nice. Forgot one thing, though. He didn't sear coat the mag. Damn. But I will say one thing about these mags. We went with the ones with the steel feed lips, or the nice. um, steel retention lips. Really nice and snug. Yep, doesn't right all around, and this thing looks awesome compared to what it did before. Yeah, it's a real transformation. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it shoots at the range. See you out there. Kalishnikov. Really digging the trigger though. Yeah. That short. I just wish it didn't have so much over trouble.
shoot it like a hand.